Hey guys, a very good morning and welcome to a new daily market outlook. So in today's market outlook, I'm going to be discussing why the dollar has been moving down in towards lows once again and if we're going to still start moving further in towards the highs. Furthermore, this afternoon I'm going to be going live during the New York session within the Discord community. So if you haven't joined yet, make sure to do so. Link is in the description down below. So let's dive straight in. Okay guys, so yesterday we saw that we got a daily bearish close which resulted in a daily star pattern at resistance. So often when you see these star patterns, of course it is a sign of potential bearishness to come, but at times we can also view these candle closes as potential bear traps. Because as we, can, as we know, excuse me, um, a lot of retail traders, what do they do? Well, they go short at resistance. And they, for instance, wait for these kind of patterns to happen at an area of resistance. So therefore, I'm not fully convinced that we're going to start moving back down in towards lows. However, what I did spot was this potential ascending wedge with the one, the two, the three. And after that, we started dropping back down in towards the lows. So for now, I am still kind of bullish, but the major sell off on the dollar since Friday has come from negative COVID news within the US. And on this Friday, we have a, um, yeah, a gathering of some important financial people in the US, uh, the Jackson Hole Symposium. And Jerome Powell is going to speak some words there, which could potentially send the dollar either up or down. So therefore, the dollar is still a little bit yeah, just waiting for that event to occur. But yeah, for now, it isn't looking that good in the sense that, of course, we've seen some major bearish pressure on the dollar for now. But one thing is good, we've seen this fake out on this major swing low over here. After that, we saw some bullish momentum. However, at the moment, we are starting to move bearish back down once again. So as you guys know, I am still bullish on the DXY until we start breaking out of this ascending wedge fully and do start seeing a new lower low, for instance, underneath this low over here. So this is kind of my major swing low. Or the major low that needs to get broken before I'm going to be looking at a bearish dollar. But for now, I am still bullish, even though we have this ascending wedge. Because looking at the daily, I'm just not really convinced that this is going to move the dollar back down lower because it's just too obvious of a setup for me. We kind of have this obvious key level and then a star pattern on that level. It kind of seems like a trap for me. But yeah, we'll just see. We'll just anticipate and react to what the dollar gives us. But for now, I'm just going to be waiting if we see some bullish momentum kick in from our current position in the market or from this zone down below. Remember zone number two, this was zone number one. So zone number two or even maybe this mini zone, which we'll call one and a half, could still be enough to push the dollar back up. Yeah. So until we break this low, we're still bullish on the dollar. So that said, let's head over to Aussie dollar. So Aussie dollar guys, Aussie dollar has been making that beautiful pullback, which we mentioned mentioned yesterday. And we're currently situated in this daily imbalance. So kind of a drop base drop zone. And from here, we could start seeing some resistance. So what I'm waiting for is some kind of pattern to form, which is telling me, OK, we are going to start moving back down lower. But yeah, that's kind of the problem with these dollar pairs the last recent weeks, right? The way that we've been falling is just so impulsive in the sense that we can't really draw any reversal patterns or we can't recognize any reversal patterns as we were, for instance, able to do in the past. Because if you look in the past, what we got over there, you could, for instance, see that, let's say over here, we had a nice wedge or if we move back up even higher over here, we had a nice wedge. You're kind of seeing that we had some corrective price action back up in towards the highs or in towards lows. However, for this recent weeks, or recent two weeks, three weeks, maybe even, we've only been seeing this kind of price action, which is kind of harder to analyze in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. We have to work with what we get. So what I'm currently waiting for is for either a reversal to happen from this zone, maybe seeing an internal structure break. So what do I mean with internal structure break? Well, of course we have, let's say this higher low over here. We could then see is potentially something like this, then a push down, the retracement, and then for instance, a 618 setup alongside an area of supply. That is one of the options. 
Um, if we do move up higher, because we can still definitely move up higher, I will be looking to short Aussie dollar from 0 0.73374, as this is a strong area of daily supply, guys. This is our strongest zone. So this is kind of our minor zone over here. And this is our major zone from where you really want to be shorting if the market, of course, provides us with an entry. But I'll update you guys, excuse me, if um, if that happens once we reach that level. For now, just keep an eye on what Aussie dollar is going to be doing. Maybe we'll see a little bit of a push up higher, maybe a fake out on the highs, then the drop. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. So that said, Aussie dollar is still bearish, but we'll just have to wait for a setup to occur. So let's head over to Euro dollar. And Euro dollar guys, so Euro dollar perfectly faked out on that swing high yesterday. I was looking for a setup, so I was looking at the 15, but look, on the 15 we got this one, two, three, then we saw that drop occur. But what I was waiting for, because it was a Monday and I wasn't really interested in taking any high risk setups, especially with the dollar pairs being so, yeah, laggy and ugly. Uh, what I was waiting for was just a drop beneath structure, create a new lower low and then trade the pullback in towards supply to then go further short. But yeah, as you guys can see, we just consolidated further in towards the highs. And once again, this is the problem that we are currently experiencing with these dollar pairs, right? It's just consolidative price action, not really much to work with. But at the moment, what we are currently seeing is that we are stalling above this swing high, which is beautiful to see. So the swing high is doing its thing. So at the moment, what we're going to be waiting for is a nice structure break on the lower time frame. So if we see that structure break on the lower time frame, so let's say we do break this area of support over here and we do create a nice impulse, a nice lower low, then we will start looking for shorts. Otherwise, preferably, I just want to see Euro dollar push up higher in the ideal world back up in towards 1.17765 as this is an area of daily supply from where we preferably want to go short as this is the strongest area to go short from and hence also the highest probability area to go short from. So yep, with that said, um, let's head over to pound dollar. And by the way, we are of course still bearish on euro dollar. Um, so pound dollar has been moving up beautifully from this lower time frame four hour zone. But yeah guys, once again, no real entry for me. When I was reviewing this chart yesterday, I did seem to think that I could have entered possibly um, once we came in towards that four hour zone. But for me, it was just a main problem that we broke below this descending wedge just a little bit too much, right? Because preferably you want to see the third touch or a fake out on the second low. But in this situation, there was just this major gap between this area of price and this area. So I just decided to skip it. But as we can see, we are moving beautifully bullish from that zone, which I called out last week. So currently breaking through this trend line, um, and I am waiting to see how we react to this swing high at around 1.37863. So that's kind of like the key level that I want to see broken to then start looking for a nice short setup or a long setup, excuse me, with, for instance, a nice pullback in the form of a channel to then start looking for some potential longs. Uh, so yeah, just staying patient, to be honest, uh, because even though that we broke out of this trend line, structure is still bearish in the sense that this is your high, this is your lower high. So until we break this lower high, we are still bearish in regards to structure. Of course, we've broken this trend line, but the trend line doesn't mean that much if you still haven't broken this lower high. So yep, that is pound dollar, just waiting for that high to get broken. Otherwise, potentially a double bottom setup down below could be nice. So that said, let's head over to Kiwi dollar. And Kiwi dollar is currently situated at the highs. So let's just see what happens. Still waiting for some shorts on Kiwi dollar. Um, kind of the same as on Aussie dollar and Euro dollar. This is strong daily supply at around 0 0.70109. So just waiting for that zone to get hit before looking for some long term shorts. In the meantime, let's see if we get a nice channel or wedge in this area of price to then go short. Probably see a fake out on this high to then look for further downside. Quickly drawing in a fib. What does the fib say? Yes, yeah, so that aligns perfectly with the 618. So let's see if that happens would be beautiful. For instance, a 30 minutes or a one hour channel or wedge would definitely do for me. So yeah, guys, that is Kiwi dollar. Let's head over to our last pair, which is gold. And gold has been stalling at 1804 perfectly. So good to see that the zone is working out. Um, for now, 
yeah, gold is essentially, let me just quickly draw in this area of demand down below over here. So what we are currently doing is we're just moving in between this area of demand and this area of supply. So the daily is essentially bearish, right? Because we have created a new lower low and this could potentially be our lower high. But looking at the four hour, the four hour is bullish. So it's kind of hard to say what is next because of the yeah, mix structures. So the four hour is bullish, but the daily is bearish. So for the four hour to become bearish, we need to essentially break beneath this low over here. So that is definitely a setup that I am going to be looking for. Not going to occur today, of course, but still looking at this setup. If we can break this structural low over here, uh, going back towards the daily, the daily does have equal highs up above over here at around 1831, which is just above this area of supply. So I wouldn't be surprised because I've just been analyzing, reanalyzing the chart yesterday. I still wouldn't be surprised if we do move up higher and take out this high, then start dropping or even maybe move in towards that area of 1858 and then start dropping. Um, but let's see what happens. I mean, it's just really a waiting game on gold. I want to see how we react to this zone. Um, but yeah, it would be really nice if we can get that ascending structure in towards that swing high, take out the swing high and then see a major sell off. That's the main setup that I'm going to be looking for this week. So yeah, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to contact me through Discord or Instagram. Link in the description down below. Wish you all a fantastic day and speak to you soon.